Here we have the Alocasia Black Velvet. And as the name would suggest, it does have sort of velvety type leaves. They also really look very nice, uh, translucent sort of from the backside. So that's fantastic when you put it in like a bright window like east facing or west facing and you get that morning or evening light coming through. Those veins on the backside really pop out from the front and the back actually. But anyway, let's get into the care instructions for this plant. These are going to need very bright light. They don't need to be right up in the window like say your ficus would or a succulent mite. They still need a wide view of the sky, you know, so if you're looking down from its point of view, make sure that it can see a wide view of the sky, but it doesn't need to be like touching the glass kind of right up in the window. They like to be watered quite frequently, especially for best growth. Uh, and I like to water them when they're about 25% dry. And that's gonna go year round. 25% dry, give the plant a really nice full soak. Always making sure that we have drainage holes in the bottom right here. Uh, it's very important to let the excess water drain out uh, after every watering. As far as repotting goes, we like to do that every time the roots start coming out of the bottom drainage holes, or every two years, whichever comes first. Now when you do repot these, they do like to retain quite a bit of moisture, but they need some airy sort of mixture in their roots as well. My favorite recipe for these is one part houseplant soil to one part something else that's going to help uh, the aeration and the uh, drainage of it. Orchid bark, perlite, pumice stone, things like that. Even cactus soil will work. A one to one ratio of moisture retention and moisture draining is really what you're gonna go for. And in the spring and summer months, you can also fertilize this plant with just a well balanced liquid soluble or granule fertilizer. One last tip before I leave you is alocasia are really well known for balancing their energy, especially when they're smaller plants like this. So what's very common is the plant will put out one or two new leaves and then the oldest bottom leaf will drop off and then it will put out another one or two or three leaves and then drop another bottom leaf. And they kind of do this, uh, this balance of energy until they reach a more mature state, at which point they will hold on to a bunch more leaves. So if you have a younger plant and the bottom leaves are falling off and you're still getting nice, healthy new growth, then don't worry about it too much. It's probably just nature taking its course. But that's gonna do it for the care instructions for the allocation of black velvet. If you have any questions about this plant, leave them in the comment section below.